The film starts from Foshan in 1935. A prosperous area known as a hotbed of martial arts. Seen the teachers who were directing their students to practice martial arts. On the other hand, at home Yip Man. Yip Man's aide said that there was a Kung Fu teacher who wanted to meet him. Yip Man then found him. This person is Liu. He just opened Foshan Kung Fu College. He wants to train with Yip Man because he heard that Yip Man is famous as a Wing Chun expert. Yip Man politely refused but Liu forced him. Yip Man then said it was for private practice only. So if Liu loses, then no one will know. Liu agreed. At the same time there was a teenager named Yuan who was picking up a kite on a tree. On the terrace of his house, Yip Man and Liu finally fight. Yuan watched the fight from the window. Yip Man launched his combo punch until Liu bounced and admitted defeat. Liu then comes home and asks Yip Man to keep their fight a secret. Of course Yip Man complied. At a restaurant, Yuan tells them about Liu's defeat by Yip Man's teacher. Not long after, the Yip Man teacher came to the restaurant to meet his business friend named Kuan. Elsewhere, Yi He Yu, who is watching his student, gets news that he was defeated by an Yip Man teacher. Liu then rushes to the restaurant and looks for Yuan. Liu immediately scolded Yuan in public. Lin also intervened. Lin is the older brother Yuan and he is a restaurant owner. Not accept the blame, Yuan then went to Yip Man up to confirm directly to the Yip Man teacher. Liu asks Yip Man's teacher to protect his reputation. Lin immediately dragged Yuan and publicly scolded him. Yuan became angry. Suddenly the police came and he asked the Kung Fu punks not to make a fuss. He also said that Kung Fu today is very ancient for the age of guns. While pointing a gun at Yip Man's head, Yip Man immediately blocked his gun and pushed the gun bullets out. The police were silenced by Yip Man. Yip Man admits that Kung Fu practitioners are sometimes noisy, but that doesn't mean they are uncivilized. The next day at Yip Man's house, Yip Man gave Quan a capital loan to open a cotton factory and Quan accepted it. While taking Quan out, suddenly Lin came and showed new moves. Meanwhile, his wife, Cheung Wing, was accompanying Zone who was drawing. While they were practicing, Zone came and showed the results to Yip Man. But Yip Man ignored him, which made Cheung Wing annoyed. From outside the fence, the community then asked Yip Man to repeat their practice. Hearing that, Cheung Wing got angry and chased them all away. She then asked Yip Man to spend more time with his son. In the next day, there was a group of travelers who were challenging the Kung Fu masters in Foshan. This group is led by Yin. Yin challenges the first college and a fight ensues. Yin beat the first teacher and went straight to the second college. Yin again won the fight. They then celebrated his victory in a small restaurant. The restaurant owner then said not to be too proud if you can't beat Yip Man. Hearing that Yin rushed to meet Yip Man. Arriving at Yip Man's house, Yin challenges him to a fight and Yip Man refuses. Cheung Wing also scolded the mob. Yin feels sad because Yip Man is afraid of his wife. Yin then said that he would not kill Yip Man. If necessary, Yin will also not use his hands. Feeling humiliated, Cheung Wing then allows him to fight with Yin. Then Police Zhao came and begged Yip Man to restore Foshan's honor. And the great battle begins. At the beginning of the fight, Yip Man looks defensive to measure the extent of Yin's ability. After that he immediately carried out the attacks. In the end Yin lost against Yip Man. Since then the people of Foshan have great respect for Yip Man. When shopping at the market, always get things for free and it's all a form of thank you Foshan people to Yip Man for protecting Foshan's dignity. But all that beautiful story changed in 1937. When Japan occupied China, many people starved to death. Things got worse when the Japanese occupied Foshan in 1938. The Japanese destroyed many of the facilities. Foshan's population is shrinking sharply. Yip Man's house was confiscated by Japan to be used as a headquarters. Here Yip Man lives miserably like Foshan people in general. But Cheung Wing kept him company. Yip Man heads to the rice shop to exchange his valuables. At that time, Yip Man met with Quan. Quan then took Yip Man to his cotton factory which was still operating because Japan still allowed it. Quan offered the position to Yip Man considering that Yip Man lent the initial capital to build this factory. But Yip Man refused because he did not want a debt of gratitude. One day Yip Man was made porridge for Cheung Wing who was sick. Cheung Wing is always thinking about food supplies but Yip Man reassures her because tomorrow he will be looking for work. In that search, Yip Man was rejected shop after shop. Until finally Yip Man joined the group of coal workers. There he met Lin the restaurant owner. While resting, Lin saw Yip Man's teacher saving his lunch. Seeing that, Yi Hin asked Yip Man to spend his share as well. They then ask each other how. Lin said that Yuan had never been home since Lin had scolded him. 
Until now, Ehin did not know whether his brother was alive or dead. Lin really wanted to apologize to him. It was then that Ehin realized that the can was missing. While looking for the can, suddenly the Japanese soldiers came. Zhao is now a Japanese translator. The Japanese general heard that the Foshan people were very good at Kung Fu. So he wants to invite the people of Foshan to fight with the Karateka. If they win they will get rice. Foshan people are excited and Lin also joins towards the battleground. While Yip Man did not participate. At the battle site, teacher Ihi Yu was seen hit the Karateka. He wins and gets rice. Seeing his agility, General Mira wanted to fight too. He wanted to fight three Foshan people at once. Mira will give him rice for his opponent, win or lose. The battle then begins and one of them is Lin. With just one hit, Mira knocked out three people at once. Lin got up and fought again and Lin was beaten until he coughed up blood. Two Foshan people confessed to surrender, but Lin attacked again. Lin was finally killed. The next day Yip Man working again. Suddenly he saw a can at the bottom. Yip Man saves it. And while it was lunch time, Zhao and the Japanese soldiers came to invite to fight again. Yip Man then approached Zhao and asked Lin. Zhao claimed not to know the whereabouts of Lin. Yip Man kept asking but this Zhao ignored him. Finally, Yip Man went to the battlefield and hoped to meet Lin. At the battleground, Yip Man sees Li Yu who has already won. Li Yu asks to fight against three more people. Mura agreed. But in that fight Li Yu finally gave up. Then he came home with the rice he got. But suddenly Li Yu's head is shot. Seeing that, Yip Man got angry with Zhao. It turned out that the one who shot was Colonel Sato. Sato forbade participants to bring rice if they had lost. General Mira was angry for his actions. Mira says if it's just tournament and don't shoot again. Tournament continues. Yip Man shouted at Zhao. He is angry and wants to fight. Yip Man asks if Lin was beaten to death. Zhao didn't answer and opened the door for Yip Man. Yip Man then asks 10 people at once. Zhao forbade it because it was very dangerous. But Yip Man persisted. Mira was also shocked to hear that. But he still grants it and then the fight begins. The angry Yip Man then beat the 10 Karateka mercilessly. Mira was stunned to see him after Yip Man beat 10 Karateka. Mira asked him to come back and gave the rice. But Yip Man refused and just took Li Yu rice. Yip Man then went home with Li Yu's bloody rice and gave it to Li Yu's family. There Yip Man was warned by Zhao to be careful of the Japanese. Yip Man immediately slapped Zhao for considering him a traitor. At home, Cheung Wing treats Yip Man's wound using wasp oil. Yip Man salutes because his wife remains loyal to him. Elsewhere, in the middle of the forest Yin prepares to intercept the truck. When the truck stopped, Yin army then arrived to rob them. Yin then went to the cotton factory. Yin asks for money but Quan has no money and Quan gets beat up by Yin. Seeing his father beaten, his son goes to Yip Man's house. He reports the incident, but by the time Yip Man heads to the cotton factory, Yin is gone and promises to come back again. One of the robbers turned out to be Yuan, his brother Lin the restaurant owner. Arriving at the factory, Yip Man saw the injured Quan at work. Quan then begged Yip Man to teach him Wing Chun. The request was apparently followed by all factory workers. Yip Man then agreed and taught them. Elsewhere, Yip Man who is playing with the children, comes Zhao. Zhao says that Mira wants to fight against him and suddenly Colonel Sato comes. At that time Sato saw the beautiful Cheung Wing and wanted to go up and snatch Cheung Wing. Yip Man spontaneously beat Sato and his army until they fainted. Zhao then invited Yip Man and his family to self-isolate. Because of that, Zhao was beaten by Sato for letting Yip Man escape. Mira mobilized all his army to find Yip Man. Zhao met Yip Man injured and delivered the goods he ordered. Yip Man is very grateful to Zhao for hiding his family. The next day Yin came again asking for money. But the workers were ready to face it and a colossal battle ensued. When the workers were struggling with Yin's army, Yip Man suddenly came and helped beat up Yin's troops. Yin and his army lost and fled. In the evening Zhao rushes to meet Yip Man. He advised Yip Man not to go to the cotton factory because Miro was there. At the cotton factory, Sato asked where Yip Man was. Suddenly Yip Man came to surrender. He was then beaten to the knees. Sato wanted to shoot him but Miro stopped him. He asked Yip Man to teach Kung Fu to Japanese soldiers. 
Yip Man refuses and he wants to challenge Mira to a fight. General Mira then ordered his subordinates to restrain him. Yip Man shouts at Quan and to take his wife and son away from Foshan. General Mira came to the prison and directly gave food to Yip Man. Mira wants the match to be watched by many people so that everyone knows that Japanese Kung Fu is better than Chinese Kung Fu. Yip Man answered by moving his food tray away. The next day, Cheung Wing brought away from Foshan by Quan. Cheung Wing was crying because he had never supported Yip Man. Finally Yip Man's fight with General Mira begins. During the fight, Cheung Wing and Quan returned to Foshan to see Yip Man. Yip Man finally won the fight and Foshan residents screamed with joy. In the midst of the euphoria, suddenly Sato shot Yip Man until he fell. Immediately, the people reacted strongly. Meanwhile, Zhao tries to snatch a gun from Sato and Zhao manages to shoot Sato in the neck. Cheung Wing and the residents then approached Yip Man. Yip Man and his family were then taken away from Foshan by Quan. And the film ends. Thank you for those of you who have watched to the end. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video.